Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Nice Hello. to see you, Miles. Hi. Hi. Happy Friday. It's Friday. Yes. Yippee. But do you really know what day of the week it is? Do you have to check or do you, you don't know? I mean, because of this, I know. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is how I keep track of the days. <laughs> and what about you, Han? Are you ready? I think I know where what time it is. Oh, I think I know what time, what uh, what day it is in a week. I think I just don't differentiate be between. It's like weekend, you know. It's because mm -hmm. I'm working from home, so we don't really get the weekend part. Right. You know? So it's yeah. But other than that, yeah, if I I do you. Meanwhile, it's because of the kids in school. You know, I'm forced to kind of know when I should. Yeah. Wake them up and let Man. them <laughs> Yeah. Hey, June. Welcome, everybody. This is um, what we call a cookie lunch break. We do it on Fridays at 1, and we share some of our uh, pearls of wisdom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we And we uh, just answer your questions live and, you know, just a little bit of everything. Sometimes we go off on tangents. And if you want to, um, if, you, if any of the projects interest you, you can purchase the templates and the backup documents to the tutorials in our coffee shops. And this is kind of like a like a, a way to support the work we do here. So you can either just buy us a, a coffee or you can purchase the digital files to recreate the projects. Those are the links. Um, Today, I'm manning the controls. It's Amber and Han. They've got some seriously really fun stuff for you today. It's uh, really, it's going to be, I think, a lot to unpack. So they're going to have to talk either really fast or we're going over. Oh, not me. I have, I'm, I'm mine is easy, like kind of easy peasy. Okay. Oh, it's a lot of folding. A lot of folding, though. Lots of folding. A, a lot of folding? Yeah. Yes, a lot of folding. But I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so just to like so the digital these are mine for today i i reduced uh i added some classes so i reduced the classes and the things i loaded for tuesday cookie therapy so if any of that interests you, you can check out my coffee shop and did you guys draw straws to decide who was going to go first no i didn't know oh, amber is going to go first me Amber's going yeah sure sure okay <laughs> <laughs> Don't put oh, no, you always go second, no? I don't even know. I have no idea. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Go no, ahead. No, no, no. Do you want you to guys, go? I'm just going to pop into the comments and just uh, do a little quick roll call. June's yeah. here. Julie, hello. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Jennifer. Hello. Gwen. Shirley. Sam. Okay. Uh, let's just see what everybody had for breakfast. So you <laughs> oh, two, you had your born, always. You had your cream of wheat and you had... What did you have last time, Amber? Oatmeal. Oatmeal. Is that what you had today? Yes, Yeah, it I is. didn't have any breakfast today, so that's terrible. Oh, like, no. Yes. Were you working hard preparing this? Sure. <laughs> 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 well, yes and no. Yes, I had to other, uh, I had to other things. But I wanted to have some of eggs today. It's like becoming a tradition on Friday. I will always have them. Oh, that's nice. I love salt boiled eggs. They're the yeah. best thing on earth. It's my favorite thing. Oats and berries. Yeah, everybody's yogurt, lemon. Oh, yes. Joy. <laughs> you got me with a lemon curd. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. You go, Amy. Amy. You go. Good. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right then. So, Amber, right. are you ready? Well, Amber, yeah. are you ready to, to reveal your project? Yes. So, oh. let's, um, I'll add it and then. Here, let me do the little, um, and then there we go. Okay. So <laughs> this is like, it's kind of a big project. This is really like a two or three day thing, um, this cookie box, because you have to like let all the, the icing dry before you build it. Um, so this is a box that when you lift up the top, a like- Don't, I don't, don't explain it, just do it. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna do it. Do it. I'm gonna it so so later, but I'm just gonna We're do going it. We're going to be quiet. We're gonna be quiet. All right. Ready? 
I've never, I haven't done it yet. I haven't done it. This is the okay, 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 hold on. I'm gonna film it from, from uh, <laughs> okay. <get> my phone. <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna be like one of those people at the concert <laughs> filming instead of, okay, you go. All right, I'm gonna do it. Isn't that cool, guys? She's got it loaded with cash. <laughs> Is it a thousand dollar cookie? Um, I don't remember how much it was. It's probably like a hundred something. But I just can I the... can I just uh, can I can you ship it to me? Sure. <laughs> I just grabbed all the money that my husband and I had in our wallets over the last. You know, we don't spend cash anymore, so we just have this lying around. So that that's took exactly the... 30 seconds. That is so <laughs> awesome. What a fun project. So, I mean, this is, um, you know, I think, Han, you suggested doing this um, for today. And uh, yeah, I just, we talked about maybe like buying the little contraption and putting it inside. So but how I was did like, you put it inside? How did you? Well, I will show you. Up. Okay. Now we can watch the. Ben clearly oh. has too much money. Well, I saw some dollar dollar bills. I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, I put all the twenty hundred. I would be like, okay, but it's yeah. Yeah. Um. So I will show you the. Obviously, this had to be pre-recorded because there's a lot of things happening with it. So let me just bring up my little videos. Okay, first I'll show you, this is um, in my coffee shop today. This is the templates that you'll need to cut the box pieces. Um, mm. So you will get this with the, um, what do you when call you say it? Three, it okay, I, it, see, it says two pieces, okay. Yeah, so, so it tells you how many pieces you six and a half, let's see, I'm gonna just see. So it's, it's a decent size. Yeah, this is um, a little over six inches. Six and a half inches by three and a half inches. Okay, and so. I mean, in there, yeah. on the sides, if they wanted, they could add like candy or something, like little, little you know, extra, like for, you well, know. Yeah, you can, because there's like a lot of space in here. Yeah. I just made it so large because this, Congrats. Oh, for your like, black, yes. Yeah, so that's where I made it so big, it, like, um, just to fit, fit so all So how around. is it attached to, onto the plug? Is it, Say again? It, how is it attached onto the, the leg? Oh, I will show you, okay? Hey, you okay. keep saying you will show us. Okay, so here, we go, here we go, here we go. Step right. one, you have to bake all your cookie pieces and then flood them. Um, flood consistency icing, it's 15 to 20 second count. Um, I have a guide on my blog at sweetams.com all about royal icing consistencies. If you're not familiar with that, I'm just using my scribe tool here to help even out the icing. So this needs to dry overnight. So that's one, you know, one day. And then the next day, you're going to build the box. So I'm just putting it, flipping the pieces over. Those are going to be the inside. I'm putting a little stiff consistency icing on the edges. This is slightly thinner than stiff consistency. That just helps it stick a little bit better. And then just hold them together for a few seconds. So my this box, like, just the corners of the sides are going to touch. Okay. So it's not like the sturdiest thing in the world, but, you know, it works. Well, it has money in it. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Can we just appreciate the nails again? Oh, thank Those you. Those are really pretty. Like mer mermaidy. No, well, they're not mermaidish, but they have like watercolor, I guess. Yeah, this is kind of like a, a plaid, pastel plaid design. So now I'm just taking off the excess icing off the corners to make it smooth. Okay, so that's the box is built. Um, so while that dries, you can decorate the, the top. So I have this congrats stencil, which is also in the coffee shop. That's on sale today. It'll be on sale through tomorrow. I'm tracing it with an edible ink marker. 
Um, that's a food doodler brand. So also in the coffee shop today is the supply list with links to all of the supplies that I used, including the markers um, to trace the stencil. So I'm not really being super careful with this because I'm just gonna be icing over the letters anyway. So I just kind of want to use this as a guide to pipe the lettering. And if they wanted to, could they use this uh, with an airbrush? Oh, sure. I'm just not comfortable with the airbrush yet, so I haven't used it with with stenciling. Um, so now I just have my little grad cap stencil, which is also in the shop. That that's um, so the listing comes with the box templates, the lettering, and the little graduation cap. I like the, money. the money. Did you show the extra though, Amber. To you, it showed me. They also get this, right? Oh yeah, so I didn't add these yet, but some at some point this weekend I will add these. So that way, if you buy these temp the templates today, you'll eventually get those other ones when I add them. So this way, you can use this for basically any occasion. Um, just replace that little graduation cap stencil with any one of these little designs, so you can use it all year round. Yeah, and who doesn't want to get a box full of money? I mean, <laughs> I know. that they can eat. Right. Okay, so we still don't know. Okay. And okay. now I'm just going to fill in the lettering and the hat with um, kind, of th kind of a thicker flood consistency between medium and flood. Um, just using my little scribe tool to help shape it. The colors that I used are Chef Master black and royal blue together to get this nice dark shade of blue. And that's also listed in the supply list in the coffee shop. So then I outlined all the letters. This is also a PME tip 1.5, which I love for lettering. It's just a nice, small, easy, not easy, but may, I find that this tip makes it easier to write. So that's just the same kind of thicker flood consistency icing. And then I just let this outline dry. I kind of just let it crust over for a few minutes and then you'll see in the next part that I fill it in. So just using the same icing and tip, I filled in the lettering. So once that is done, I ended up, you know, of course I had to add Oh, and then I did a little tassel on the top. It's so great because they could do it in the kids' a school color. Right, or yeah. Any colors. So, of course, I had to add three oh. on the corners. <laughs> no way. I couldn't resist. I had to, like, do it. Just what a surprise. <laughs> But it really this does. This is also add, the like, same consistency you used on the letters. Yes. Yeah. So I didn't. I just used the same icing for all. It flows nicely. Yes. Yes. And then a little bead border just to finish it off. I mean, and then you know, if you don't want to make the whole box, you can even just make this plaque as like a centerpiece. Mm -hmm. And then make some other little cookies okay. to go with it. Okay, so that it's it's important that you let that all dry overnight again. So that's now two days. So you flooded everything, let it dry, you built the box, decorated the top, and now you have to let it dry again. Because if you don't let it dry, when you try to attach the the piece that holds the money on, this is going to crack, which is what happened to me because I was rushing it. 
So you can, I don't, you probably can't see it, but there's a crack just like down the middle here. Yeah, we, we, we can see. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's very small, but just so you know, you really should let that dry because it's going to get destroyed if you don't. And it's a pretty big cookie, so it takes some time, right? Yes, it's not, yeah. It's not as fast as right. the inch cookie, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the next thing you're going to do is wrap your bills in cello bags. So I also linked these bags um, in the coffee shop. These are self-seal. And then I had a like excess on it, so I sealed it with my heat sealer. So mm -hmm. there's like a little seam right there. Um, you can even just like fold it over and tape it on the back if you don't have a heat sealer. But since I heat sealed mine, I'm just gonna cut the excess off. Mm. And then you do wanna save one of these pieces, these extra pieces of the plastic for later. So you'll see in a second. Yeah. Okay. And then you're gonna tape all of your bills together so you have like a nice long, I think I did like 12, 12 bills here. So that, I mean, and that was pretty impressive, right? Like just even just 12 of them is fine. Like you don't have to have a ton. It's but, really fun. I mean, even, even if it's, you know, dollar bills, I think it's so fun. Mm -hmm. So this is me. It's hard to see there, but I just added like a one of those extra pieces to the end of it, like as a little tab. And then you just want to roll that up. Oh, I see. You used it. Okay. And then you... Mm -hmm. Okay. So then we're going to take the lid, pull the tab through, and then take the little lid piece and wrap that tab around it. Okay. So that's going to hold the money to the lid. And then put some icing over it. So you were busy this week. Oh my God. gosh, it was just insane. And this was my second box too. You saw I made yeah, you first, made a I made a, right. Yeah, I made I made a smaller version first. So and then you're just gonna so this is where you have to be careful because you do have to press that on there. Mm. And if your cookie's not dry, it's that's when you're it's gonna that's crack, you which is what dry. happens. But would you say that then would it be you could you could then easily decorate the top after you at some point because right? Kind yes. Of. So I was thinking about doing that, but it's it's kind of I mean, yeah, if you just have this whole piece, you could definitely yeah. just decorate you could, that. You could kind of do that, point. right? Yeah. I mean, if you are really, really worried about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you could do that. So um, but that lid, this piece also has to dry overnight. So that's three days of work. Well, is the yes. slip piece attached to the box? No, I left this unattached because I wanted to be able to put this back in. Oh. But if you don't care about oh, yeah, not being able true. to do it again, you would attach this part to the box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Otherwise, yeah, you would have to destroy it. Right. Yeah. To get the so I left out. it like this. And it, this piece is heavy enough that it doesn't get yeah, yeah. as you pull the money out. So is this going to be a gift for someone? No, this is going back in my wallet. Like <laughs> <laughs> okay. So no gift 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 giving? Okay. I don't know anybody graduating this year. So, so you guys, let us know what you think in the comments. Give I mean, Amber uh, some props. That was impressive. Thanks. Again, just wanted to show you these stencils that are in the coffee shop today, along with the the templates to cut this box. Oh, uh, Jeremy's making an interesting suggestion. You need <laughs> the camera. That's a good idea. All right, that was fun. Well, yeah, it was. It was. We've seen it on cakes, but that was oh, really cool. your friend Sarah. Just give you a suggestion. Oh yeah, okay, Tara. This is <laughs> this is. <crazy. laughs> well, maybe you could freeze it or something, and then it would have. Yeah. Failed. That's great. See, they're loving it, Amber. Thank you, and thanks to you two for. Well, this one's all hand. This was her oh, brainchild. Yeah, yeah. I'd have, oh, 
If I made this, I'd have to fill it with Monopoly money. I'm broke. <laughs> well, I would fill it with leaves. <laughs> you know? Or you could, I mean, imagine, well, the money, obviously, it's always there. Hello, hello, it's from Ger hello, Maggie, to Germany. Money is always good, but imagine like for a for, like a like a forest or something. You like dry flowers, you know. Like you know, oh I yeah, know. yeah. But then they would, I think they they would break, right? I mean, if you had them sealed up, if you put pressed flowers inside. I mean, I mean, I'm just thinking like what else? But I think yeah, I love, you the, could I put love the money. Candy money. I think there is. You could obviously print money on a frosting sheet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's bl Sally's blaming her finances on me because. <laughs> <laughs> um, the stencils today are two dollars and fifty cents for the whole package. So you get the the congrats, the hat, and the box templates, and then eventually this weekend I will add those other ones that you can use like the teddy bear the hearts whatever so if you even if you buy it today you'll have access to those as i just found out from our this morning so yeah when she adds to the to the to the coffee listing you guys when you click the link you you no matter if she updates it you can have it um what what am i seeing here how long, will the how, how long it could last for roughly how long? i mean i have well, yeah. Boxes from years ago, like they will last forever. Although, oh yes, but the, if they want to the eat money, it, will amber. the money will last forever. <laughs> yeah. If you want to eat it, um, just a few days. Oh, just uh, Jeremy. I mean, if that's the case. I feel so bad. I'm so. You should feel bad. He's still? lost from my oh, page. No. My page. Facebook. I think we have to wait for another update and it will probably sort the things out. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's, uh, that's a good idea. Uh, collection cards, like, you know, the uh, kids' Pokemon cards or, you know, coupons. Yes. yes. I mean, I, I guess yes. candy bars with dollars on them. I mean, infinite possibilities. The thing is, is now that she's given you kind of a, a, a beginning spot, you guys can take the idea and go crazy with it. Tag, tag Amber in your creations. I'm sure she'd love to see. Yes, please do. Oh, he's forgiving me. Oh, Jeremy, <laughs> she's not feeling bad now. I'm feeling bad. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know, last week as I was kind of clicking through the comments, I accidentally, I really did accidentally, I blocked Jeremy, who's very active in the comments and participates. So I felt very bad, and then he couldn't, and anyway, he couldn't comment anymore. <laughs> Oh yeah, the cute proposal pop. Yes. Oh yeah, you have the words printed out, and you—that would be very cute. Oh yes, but for for like even for the kids. <laughs> but, 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 sorry, I have to laugh because how do you put it in a pocket? What? How do you put? I mean, it's a proposal, right? Will you marry me? Like an oversized jacket, put it in the pocket. I mean, it's so cute. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so the pencil good. material you're using is um the stuff that you use what is that that's the 4 ml so it's yeah. not that thick right but it cuts really well and amber mm -hmm. have you had like no problem like, you cut right through it i just i do a double cut a two pass yeah. yeah awesome so han are you ready i am ready kind of i guess i All have right. to kind of slide over here because of how I'm set up today. So hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to function. <laughs> yes, it is still available flower. Um, the that duck from a few weeks back. Okay, so let's see what we can see. Okay. So this was, uh, so Amber's uh, box was uh, my idea, kind of, suggestion. And this was Marley's idea. <laughs> <laughs> so right back at you. So um, years oh, I sorry. don't know if they can see it. Maybe you should read it. <laughs> can 
can you see? We can see. Okay, very well. So do you guys know what the, what this is? Am I am I pixelating or something? No, not on my end. Okay, on my end. I am. Never mind. So I actually created a bunch of templates for these different uh, things for the baseball. I am dead, the man, the myth, the legend. Then I have um, here for uh, that I love you. I mean, there are so many different ones. And these are available in my coffee shop. So Han is doing day. Father's Day, if you guys didn't figure it well, out. <laughs> if you didn't realize that, then yeah, there is something wrong. But yes, yeah, so I'm gonna show you how I fold these. I mean, um, this is kind of therapeutic, I have to say. So once you start, you can stop. And these are great for tags. So if you have like a little cookie that you made and you can uh, make a hole in it and make a tag. So you're gonna fold it like this. And then this step, you wanna fold about one inch over like mm -hmm. this. I hope I, can, I remember how to do this. <laughs> and then this end, we're gonna fold in like this. Or was it this end? Now I forget. <laughs> I forget my own thing. Yes, I think it was this end, yes, sorry. It was this, is this end. So we're gonna fold it like this. Okay, I'll take it apart for this corner. Anyone else likes origami? I mean, this is super simple origami. It's not like, Karen you know. seems to like it. She's saying cookies and origami, win-win. So this, this is the, the most tricky part, I think. Like you have to connect, you have to connect this line and this line. Mm -hmm. So you basically, I don't know if I'm showing it correctly. Oops, I'm gonna do this. Okay, does that make yeah. sense? It's yeah. kind of like a weird, weird fall, but. Right. We're trusting okay. that you know what you're doing. <laughs> now you will. I made like 10 of them, so I hope I do. And now this this is another tricky part. So you want to make sure that you hold this firmly mm -hmm. and then press down. Don't let it okay. like, okay? Okay. And now, oh, we're on the way, we have the sleeves. And now here comes the, this is the last bit. This is the color. So holding it in like this. And now we're going to. Oh, that is so cool. Adorable, okay. I love that. I think the tag, you could probably actually to make it like stick because you, it, it's easily unfolded, you could put double-sided double tape mm -hmm. and maybe, um, um, I don't know where I would, I guess I would make a hole here. Yeah. You know, and yeah. then put it um, on your packaging. Or what I have done in the past, I made a little hole here and I glued a toothpick in and I used it as a cupcake topper. Oh, that's cute. So super cute. Love and um, so that's to start the things off. And now I'm going to, we're going to decorate some cookies as well today. So I got these here ready. I'm just gonna show you how to make them. And in the process of making the plaid, I also have a this template in my shop along with a cute little template to make the dad. So these are all in one and you can check them out on a coffee shop. So now I'm just gonna quickly show you, and it's super simple, how we're going to make the cookies. So I used, for the cookies, I used actually cutter. I don't know if you can see, I guess this is a better way to show you. This is a cutter from a gingerbread house kit that I have from... Um, That's truly mad plastics, I'm almost sure. Um, no, no, um, Bobby's cookie cutters. Oh, she does. Etsy. This is a really nice, uh, it's a gingerbread birdhouse actually, birdhouse. And it has a scalloped edge roof. It's really, really pretty. I will be doing projects with it later. So you might want to check it out. I will have to create a supply list because I have not done that. All right, so this is super simple. I wanted to show you what the perforated mat uh, cookie baked cookie baked on a perforated mat looks like so that mm -hmm. was the underside um, and I'm just using 15 second consistency icing here 
We're just going to outline and flood. Super duper simple. And for the recipe for royal icing, you can visit my blog, hanielas.com. I also share a recipe um, for vegan royal icing that is made with aquafaba. Anyone tried it? I know Amber has, and mm. I know I get lots of messages, people trying it, and uh, everybody seems to have positive feedback. Yeah, it's So let, let me know if you have tried it. I also have a recipe for those of you who can I have um, egg whites and can make aquafaba, for example. You can use, um, not egg whites, uh, the meringue powder. You can also use fresh egg whites. <clears throat> I have a recipe on the blog and also recipe with the pasteurized uh, egg whites as well. Mm -hmm. And now with the scribe, I'm just going to So I'm going to create blood using wet on wet, and I ended up using two colors, blue and white. And so right now I'm going to put the cookie oops, onto the template. And you can either angle it so it's kind of like that on diagonal, or you can make straight lines depending on the design that you want. So you want to somewhat center it, mm -hmm. and then. Um, these lines basically are just going to help you make even lines so they are somewhat uh, evenly spaced out. Once you get the first set of lines, I find you don't even need the template for the second set. So once you get the blue lines, the white lines go on the si side of the blue line. So you don't really need that for the white lines, but it is there just uh, in case. Now for the ease of piping, I turned my template and I put the template into a transparent um, protector sheet just so it doesn't get greasy. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> I do need lines, believe me. Yes, I do. Not that I can make a straight line, but to make them evenly spaced out, I find that can be sometimes tricky. Yeah. Is this template in your coffee shop? Yes, it is available along with the template that I will be using in a second. That's a dead template. It's just a cardstock, nothing fancy. You can cut it out with an exacto knife, as I have been doing for many years. Now this is Amber's template, so yeah, yeah you have to, I, you have I, to I, put uh, Aniela's, uh, you won't find it in her template. I switched And it. I actually have plans for, for this template. I really want to try, um, try it with a cake, so I'll see how that goes. For a cake? And, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 I want to try it with a cake. You can, I included the JPEG files, so you guys can, uh, you know, resize it if you need to make it smaller or something like that. Do you mean like a jelly roll? Yeah. Mm, cool. It was on my, I have done, oh, I see, see here my icing was slightly, so this is a good, uh, so this is a tool that you can use if your icing is like trying to get off the cookie. Mm -hmm. So this is a tool that you can uh, utilize and it gives you a nice clean line, especially when doing wet on wet. I didn't want to disturb any of the lines. Yeah. By dragging, dragging it, so I'm literally cutting it off. Mm -hmm. With the, uh, this is a boo boo stick, and then you have to let it dry. So I like to dry my cookies in front of a fan or uh, or under the ceiling fan. I don't have a ceiling fan now, but I use a fan, and um, it does help. Uh, to achieve a really smooth uh, kind of like a satin finish. So mm -hmm. if you're struggling with that, try using a ceiling, ceiling fan or any kind of fan that you have. Um, make sure that it's clean <laughs> so you don't have like bits of dust right. flying around. So I'm going to go over here. Okay. And now we're going to start. Okay, I hope I can fit in here. I have a tight space to work. Okay, so I've got my template here. So I assume we're gonna do this one. Okay, the flat that we did. So this is a template. I usually use my uh, cookie cutter and I create an outline and then I 
figure out where it's, you know, to make it centered. And then um, you cut it out with an exacto knife. Nothing fancy. How do you spell boo boo stick? Just like I think boo boo stick. How you said? I, I think it's boo and dash boo boo stick or or um, I have it listed. I have the yellow one that I'm using that I used. I don't think it's available anywhere unless I think maybe AliExpress or somewhere. But um, Sugar Bell, Sweet Sugar Bell, she has a teal one, and it comes in a set of three, I think. And I do have it listed in my Amazon shop. And it's a really good tool. I mean, I, I'm sure you, I don't know if Amber uses it. Um, yeah. It? Yeah, I have a few of those. But I, I love it. I have several, and there are, there's another one that is pink, and it's larger, and it's also great. All right. <clears throat> so um, because I'm going to be doing black outline, so I'm not really worried about using a black marker to trace my dead outline but if you are worried about an outline if you are let's say not using black um, marker um, like royal icing you can also utilize a pin and you can scratch the surface and it will give you an outline i find the pin is easier to use than a, a scribe mm. scribe sometimes because of the the length of the needle tool can be kind of you know it starts to bend yeah. Yeah. or if you have a fancy fancy scribe like I do I mean I don't want to damage it so <laughs> I'm not gonna use it for that okay so you can use this little pen but because I'm going to do black outline I'm just going to outline and I'm using this is a rainbow dust edible marker it's a black marker it's a dual tip I love that one and it does come, this brand, they have different colors. However, um, I don't know, do any of you use their other colors? I have red, blue, brown. I know I use the, the gray one a lot, but other colors I don't really use that much. Do you? No, I have the, the blue one, which is nice, the light blue. The light blue? Yeah, yeah, I have that too, but I haven't used it. So now I'm just going to, I'm trying not to like smear it. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to, we could, I guess, uh, use an airbrush with this as well. But you wouldn't be, be able to do the black outline and then um, we're going to pipe. Now what I like to do, I'm going to do this instead of pulling it like dragging it off because I'm always worried and it's legit because it's still kind of wet you're gonna smear it okay so I like to like fall you know make it fall off this is a design I did years ago and it is on a blog it's slightly um, different now I am piping on top of the dry icing before I didn't so I wanted to update that, and that's why I decided to do this project today. Now today I'm using a tip just like Amber, and we did not plan this. This is also PME tip. Mm. I have it actually. <laughs> hopefully it's still. Hopefully it's not clogged up, because I. Um, let's see. Oh, you're good. I'm good. Now, when you are using these fancy tips, well, any I guess any tip is, you know, I wouldn't use with metal tips when you're trying to unclog it. Try not to use a scribe, please. Why? Why? The, well, the tip of the, what can happen if you are too rough with it, the scribe mm. can actually make a ridge in a, in a, um, uh, inside of the piping tip or something, and it can actually Ooh. like damage it. Oh, I always do that. I'll stop doing that. So I would say you like use a toothpick instead. Mm -hmm. Or, or uh, June runs it under hot water, right? Mm -hmm. That's what she said. Yeah, but I think she did. That's her tip for when you're using tipless bags. If you have a clog in your tipless bag, see how nice it comes out. Mm -hmm. So this is a PME 1.2. We always recommend this tip. It's great for writing and general adding details 
However, I normally use uh, tipless bags, but for this design, I decided to use um, PME. Now with this, uh, this, uh, this design, I'm gonna pipe backwards. I'm gonna start with a D and then I'm gonna do A and then the capital D. I'm gonna need some towel here, some water. Do we have any questions? I'm not seeing any questions. If you have questions, don't hesitate to post them in the comments. I've got her coffee shop listed on the screen. And if you look at the bottom, there's a ticker there. You can see Amber's. I tried to put hers in the comments, but I got an error message for Amber's. I think I see it. It's but do you see an error occurred? Wait a moment and then try again. Oh, no, I see it on my end. So I'm gonna pop Amber's link in, but I'm getting, I'm seeing an error message on my side. That was happening to me last yeah. week, but I think it was still going through. Oh. I think last week it was my internet connection. That's why I was freezing because it happened before we went live. Mm. And I'm not really worried about how fast I'm going here because I'm going to let this crust anyway before I fill it in. Okay. This is a super simple design. Um, can you uh, share your colors? So what? how did you make that blue, that gray? Well, the gray, it's uh, just a, a touch of the black. And the blue is actually sky blue and touch of gray. That makes sense. What I brand are you use... using? I'm sorry? What brand is it? Well, this was, I think this was sky blue from Emery Color. Okay. And the black was... Um, Super black, yeah, I think it was, but oh, they were all American brand. Uh, even if it wasn't, I mean, I, the blue, it's like, uh, what's the blue where you add the gray to it? Like, what is that called? I mean, I call it just like a dusty wedge blue or... Dusty blue? Yeah, so that's what wood? I did. Is it the Wedgwood? I think the Wedgwood is uh, with, is it Wedgwood? I think Wedgwood is more green. No, I don't know. I can't, I'm confused now. But yeah, that's what I did. I often use, like I mix the, the, I had the gray and then into the blue to kind of mute it down a little bit. Yeah. I added a little bit of gray. You can also use ivory for different effects. I do, I, I add gray instead of black because with black you can, you can add too much too fast. Yeah, it's very fast. Her marker mm -hmm. is called Rainbow Dust, the brand. Oops, oh, I pulled away here. Yes, uh, I'll show you in a second what's it called. And when you're doing outlines like this, so much detail. Try not to use too much icing in your bag because it's easier to handle, you know, I can really like have it in my hand. Mm -hmm. What can also sometimes happen when you're using it for like an hour or two, your icing may seem to become uh, more fluid and this yeah. is normal. It's just the warm of your hand can kind of, I think, make the sugar or something, right? Mm -hmm. you know? So that that is normal. I would just set it aside and... Um, yeah. Work with it later. Okay, so I don't know. I, I personally thought the palette of gray, white, blue, and orange looked awesome. So I'm gonna, what do you think? Orange, right? Hey guys, you want red or you want orange? What color do you want her to put? I'm already the decided, color? so you can try change my mind. Let's see. Red or orange? I think orange, no? 
You have to give them a second because there's a bit of a delay. So one second, we're going to see some. One second, here. two seconds. Oh, okay. We're deciding very, very important question of the day. <laughs> yes. Sandy's <laughs> which, voting which orange. To use. Sandy's voting what? orange. Julie wants both. Kathy wants orange. Jeanette red. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, so I guess we will do we will do uh, both these with orange and A with red. How is that? Okay. <laughs> I, think, I think more orange. More. It's. I think more. Is it, I, I mean, I would vote for orange. Yeah, I think orange is orange. Um, it's a nice color. I actually color. like that color combo. Those of you who have never used tipless bag, and we see this. Okay, so I will make a compromise. Dark with light. <laughs> I will make a compromise. I will do two orange and uh, red in the middle. Okay. So if you haven't cut a T-plus bag, always find, or I do find a seam in the middle, and then I, I flatten it and I cut straight across. Now, when you're buying T-plus bags, there's such a great variety of these on the market nowadays. When we first started, there was like one brand, and it was so flimsy and very thin, and they would burst all the time. Um, it's sometimes hard to tell from a picture when you're buying it, so you may end up getting a bad badge. By bad badge, I mean you're looking for you want a bag that doesn't have a flap here. Mm -hmm. It's pretty small because if you have a flap there and you are using it without a tip, this flap is going to interfere with how your icing is coming out of the bag. All right, so I'm gonna um, go ahead and cut it. So if you do get a bad batch, they're not totally garbage, but you'll just have to. No, use no, they, no, they're not. They're not. You can use them with with piping tips. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Right? Or with buttercream or something. All right, so let's do orange first. And as I come to the sections like you just saw, uh, where there is a little more detail, I kind of um, stop putting pressure on the piping bag so I don't accidentally squeeze too much icing out. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'll subscribe to. Okay, we're gonna do this one orange. Did you hear friends are having a, is it on HBO or Netflix? Oh, the reunion show? The reunion show. I saw something about it. Yeah, but supposedly it's just gonna be like, basically like a sit down. It's not like a, a show, like an episode. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they're just going to be like, I don't know if it's like even going to be virtual, but I don't think it's like an episode. Mm -hmm. They were talking That's about it on the radio. Okay, should we really do the red? Yeah, why not? Okay. HBO Max is, is having it. Oh, it's yeah. HBO, so I guess I won't see it. <laughs> What's your consistency on those icings? Well, this is uh, about 20 seconds. We don't want to use too, I, I think that it's too fluid. And it comes out fast and you can have cratering. It's unscripted. Mm. Oh. I love the black outline with that. And that's how difficult this is to make. <laughs> See, that wasn't too bad. So do you think that they could do royal icing transfers for the dad? You know, like, let's say. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, I hadn't even thought of that. That's a good idea. Yeah, absolutely. Because uh, if you're keeping your, if you're keeping the base color, if your base color, like this, this one is also light, if your color is light and you're, the dead colors are darker or 
you know, they are not um, what I'm trying to say. If you were to ice the base black and then pop this on as transfer, mm -hmm. as wet, dry transfer and wet, the black would seep through. Right. That I can guarantee you that because I have mm -hmm. done that. The only thing is if the dead is uh, large and the surface of your icing is not completely, you know, smooth mm -hmm. and perfect, yeah. then you might have trouble getting it in. But I think, yeah, you could do a transfer. Why not? Mm -hmm. If you feel like it. Well, it's I have, I'm uh, thinking about a beginner that doesn't pipe very fast, maybe. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know? No, I think, yes, I think you can definitely make it a, tra a transfer. I mean, it would be a lot fast. I mean, a lot faster. And you don't have to do the whole um, tracing part, right? I mean, I have, um, let me see. Um, Thank you, Kathleen. I wanted to show you. So here they are. Okay. So you can, um, like, I didn't do, uh, you can have fun with it. You can use your marker here. I write, hey, uh, Dad, I love your stories, even though, even the ones I've heard a million times. I love you, Dad. I love you, Dad. You can really, like, have different uh, uh, yeah. text there if you wanted to add your own, um, you know, write it with a marker. Mm -hmm. So, Han, right. I really wants to know if, um, if she can pipe a flood, I mean, right away after she does that outline. Yeah. Yeah, you can. I mean, I liked, well, uh, the thing is, by the time you're done with the, with, the, um, with the letters, the first letter is going to be slightly crusted, unless you move really fast. But yeah, you should be fine. You should be really fine to, to flood right after. I don't see why not, because the icing, the black outline icing is like a piping consistency, so it's not super fluid and it's going to crust really fast. Did anybody, I was asking here, Jennifer's asking if, if you guys use the dried fruit powders from Chef Rubber. I don't, I don't know that. that I have not, um, no. Well, not, not that brand, but Mar, you have used, um, you have used. Um, Freeze dried? Um, yes. Well, yes, Amber recently though, like two, was it two weeks ago last week? She posted a strawberry cookie recipe in uh, her coffee shop. Mm -hmm. She did it with freeze dried. Freeze dried fruits, I mean, they're so concentrated. You're basically no water in them. So it's really an intense and natural flavor, right? Like that's the big part yeah. too, that it's natural tasting. I think stocks have come back because during the beginning of the pandemic, freeze dried food was like, people were going crazy. Do you remember the toilet paper incident? Yeah. And so <laughs> people were also doing that with food, right? Staples and oh. so we were buying free dried food. Mm. She's got enough little shirts to make a garden. I don't have this many dads, okay? Just so, <laughs> oh my God, it's like, I'm making, I just made, I think this is good, but you can see it, best dad in the galaxy for like, a, if you know that. Star Wars. Obviously, I was trying to stay away from any any kind of um, copyright issues. Right, right. Nothing, uh, nothing of that sort. But I think it's you know it's a fun little project. If you have kids home or something, they can do it, and you, you kind of or what you could do. I think it would be really cute. Like um, um, have have them like fold a big one, and they can draw on it. Oh, that's and, and what you could also do, they could write, like it could be unfolded and there could be like a message inside, like super cute or, hey, you could put money in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we are in a, we are talking about money today. <laughs> yes. And I, you can I, get uh, it in my coffee shop. I'm okay. Like you are okay up. after your shot. I made it. But supposedly the number one is not a problem. It's number two I'm a little worried about. I'll look at the, the chef rubber. I've never heard of it. Oh, raspberry and lemon. Sounds good. I like, uh, I like raspberries. They're awesome. <clears throat> Yay. Awesome. Thank you. So we are under, under one hour, which is absolutely fantastic. Bye. This was great because this was, I felt like this was, uh, did, did you guys like this kind of like, e I mean, it was easy, right? That that project was kind of easy. Do you guys prefer <laughs> or is it not easy? I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, I think that um, for for a beginner, the wet on wet, we assume, like we think it's easy, but I mean, to work fast enough to get everything to sync. Okay. Like 
No, but I mean, like, it's it's um, not overwhelming or difficult, you know, there are not a lot of aspects to it. Yeah, like, no, right, you need to do right, right. and then we kind of... I'm well, just I just try to, to be mindful of the word easy because like after 10 okay. years of decorating, we're like, yeah, this is an easy project. And then they're like, you said it was easy. <laughs> yeah. All right. So do you kind of easy? Okay. You guys come on. Okay. All right. So, but the, it's kind of easy. <laughs> the thing, the thing is, is if, if you're struggling with the wet on wet, just work on smaller cookies. So then you can fill it faster. Right. Like, I think that would be the tip is just not have like, yes. like the other thing, the other thing I, I, um, I don't do that often, but when I do large cookies like gingerbread house and I need to ice that section, like, I mean, it will start crusting even for me. Mm -hmm. It's not like I'm a superhuman. I it will start crusting. So what I often do, I make a super tight because if I don't want the outline, I want to, I want to make, I make like a super thin outline and then I flood with like a more fluid icing and that outline is enough to hold it in okay. like when it's, when it's uh, like more fluid. Mm -hmm. That's what I often do as well. Hello. Hello. Yes, it can be overwhelming. Like Marlene said, take, uh, take it like one cookie, one project at a time. Instagram can be absolutely overwhelming. You see all these amazing things there. It's like you you don't know what to do first, but yeah, just focus well, on on your own. I think mental health first because it can really like. Well, the other thing I just want to mention about Instagram: those videos are on fast forward. Just <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Oh, you mean we don't do that that fast? No, you saw how how uh, how much time it took, right? Uh, to do the tracing and all that. So yeah. It's, 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 that's something we could do, but I don't have a printer. I would have to order some pictures to to demonstrate that. So we could, if you have a frosting sheet, we could just you could we could just draw on uh, frosting sheet and use mm -hmm. that. I think, or Amber can paint on it. Sure, a portrait. Try that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or your uh, Kiliko. Ki what is your, your cat's you? name? My cat's Kiliko? name, Missy. Kiliko? Missy? Uh, yeah. Yes, Missy, sorry. So, or Missy. But didn't you say, is it Calico? It's that, Calico, uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. That's a, that's a breed. Yeah, yeah. So okay, so yeah, you could do cat cats. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Okay, what? I use Wilton. Wilton. I use a local brand. Um, oh, you have local meringue powder? There's a, a food manufacturer. Even Canada, I remember? <laughs> And they make a, a lot, like That's all dry cool. stuff. So they make like broths and sauce. Oh, and wow. And they, they supply restaurants. And you so. Get some awesome stuff, huh? Yeah. And so I buy mm -hmm. a, like a big box of meringue powder from there. Very cocoa powder. That's great. Her, her very own meringue. International. Okay. <laughs> and yes, I guess. If you guys yes. put yes, we love to see tag us and tag us. And tag us. If that. we don't all, like sometimes tags they don't mind like the tags sometimes we don't they get lost because yeah. we get tagged a lot. So I love to get pictures, like just send me the picture. Or you know, use a hashtag or like or use a yeah, hashtag and I go back and look. So again, yes. if you guys want to check out the that. coffee shop, here's Amber's link, and if you missed it, here's uh, just a little, a little video. So, this <laughs> okay. oh, you did not. Did we? Did we see this video? Did I not show that part? I think no. I think we did not oh. see that video. Okay, okay well, let's, let's look at it again. So, if you guys let's want look to at it again, it says million dollar. It's a million dollar box. Yeah. So that's just how you put the whole thing together. Let's not reveal where Amber lives. <laughs> <laughs> so today's video will be available for replay and Amber's okay. trying to decide where she's going to put the uh, full tutorial for that project but you can buy the template in her coffee shop mm -hmm. and did you uh, hand put any finished pictures here yes, are her I have, no, no, these, no, this is in this um, in this bundle you get the plaid design and the dead design, which is like, yeah, it's very simple. But you, and then you have another one that is all the t-shirts. 
<laughs> and I hope when you make the dish, you send me a picture. I am like a little obsessed with these. Like I said, once you start making them, you, you end up like, oh, I need to make more. I need to make more. Like it's fun. It's really fun. And if yeah, for little kids, like if you you could even use and in the in the um, PDF included, there's a link to a tutorial, video tutorial. So if you don't know how, you could even use this piece of paper and make like a giant, you know, giant uh, T-shirt and then have them decorated. And I'm gonna do that for all of them. I think it's super cute, you know. Yeah. And then um, the father, fathers, they can put there in their office or, um, yeah, just go ahead and get it. <laughs> it's in the coffee shop. <laughs> so Kathleen, uh, I don't plan on doing one anytime soon. My kids are finishing off school. I'm a little busy with like family stuff, but I did list that class in my coffee shop, the one with the flower platter. And so today my things, this is um, some of the things I've got in my coffee shop. I reduced a dinosaur class. I reduced my hibiscus class and the bikini class. I reduced all three of those. If you guys want to check those out. And then I have Tuesday's project that I did with Amy and cookie therapy. I did a, also a graduation stencil. I actually did a, my talk on Tuesday was stencil design, which I'm getting requests for, but I worry sometimes that it's a lot to start. It's very technical. And so I'm like, I'm going to lose half of you guys going, <laughs> It's not really exciting to watch. It's like the icing when it goes on, it's like hypnotic. Watching a stencil, it's like not as thrilling, but anyway. <laughs> and also I wanted to remind you to um, <clears throat> tune in on Wednesday. We are doing another live on Instagram. I did the live this, this week and it was so much fun. I'm um, so grateful for you guys, that those of you that you tuned in. And we will do it again. I don't know who is doing it this week. Is it uh, Mara and Amber? I don't really I'm not sure. I have to look at the calendar. But I, I will do it every week on my own, or if the ladies can join me, I will do it uh, okay. regardless because I think it's really, uh, I enjoyed it. So I will keep you, if you don't, if you are not following me on Instagram, do follow me because I will share um, updates when I'm going to go live. And um, two of us, uh, we have a rotation, so we will be doing them every week. Yeah, that's it. Just follow us, and we usually will share each other's stuff too. So you'll mm -hmm. you know, sometimes Instagram, you know, um, Carla. Instagram is an app, so you have to have an app on your phone. So you go into the Apple Store, and it's a free app. And then you have to create an account, and then you can um, find us, Aniela Sweetems Montreal Confections. Um. So what's next week? What's what next week? Who, who is next week? Because I was two weeks in a row, I so I think, yes. I just think that next week I might yeah. be off. You're <laughs> off next week. It's me and Mar. Um, so this is it the 21st already? Yeah. So um so I have suggestions. Okay. Mm -hmm. You've had such good ideas. <laughs> well, nothing with money. Don't get me wrong. Um, well, we did get a request for summer dresses. What else um, is coming up? Uh, I mean, uh, baby showers. Supposedly, I heard maybe there was going to be a little bit of uh, a lot like births following everybody. Sure, yeah, the, 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 the pandemic, pandemic babies. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, has it been nine months? Well, I heard that the births were down by like 4% or something. Oh, did you? I saw some cute Instagram videos, though, of pandemic babies going out into the world for the first time. Oh, yeah. Those are pretty cute. You know, like usually a kid gets every, you know, week goes to the store. Now these kids have never gone out in the world and all of a sudden they're at Target <laughs> or something. They're like, what the heck is all this? Right. So cute. Um, so any suggestions? I'm Memorial, Memorial Day. Day. Memorial Day in the U.S. Drinks is a good one. I feel like oh, yeah, yeah. drinks. Yes. Oh, I want to hear drinks. I think June suggested oh. that last. You know, yeah. Yeah. That could be a cute one. Yeah. I actually have a, a cup of drink. straw and everything. Well, I also like summer dresses, so maybe one of us can do drinks and one of us can do a dress. She saw the commercial. She I have up. not. I'm not even going to look it up. I'm not. I have not. I forgot to look it up. <laughs> what was the commercial about again? 
about it's about getting, getting out of the perfect. pandemic and it's a gum commercial. So everybody's basically like kissing each other. And I, I was just, for me, it was always like, I was just thinking about the logistics during a pandemic to film such a video. I mean, the, 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 you know, rigorous testing that would need to happen. Yes. You know? Yes, I mean they do go into such uh, measures. Today I I heard that um, during the filming of Cats, you know the musical, they had to have set. There's the set has to be heated so much that it was like uncomfortable because the professional dancers they cannot their muscles cannot cool off. You know, like once they yeah. cool, they can really injure mm. themselves. So they had to keep it really warm, which uh, made it I guess very uncomfortable for some. How do I know that? Don't ask me. Yeah. <laughs> it's very important that you know that. It's, uh, yes. Uh, drinking in dresses. Oh. <laughs> yeah, lemonade. I'm I'm playing. I actually we have to do a uh, citrus theme because I want to do lemons. I want to do lemons mm -hmm. for my coffee shop because people are buying me lemons, so I want to make sure that I have the lemon decorated cookies there. Yeah. Lemon. Maybe we can do like a citrus or watermelon and lemon or something. Mm -hmm. If you want one time. Dresses are fun. They are. Sunglasses, drinks, surfboards. So like summer I, theme. So like I have summer. surely uh, from a couple of uh, lives ago, I did a, a beach in a box. If you want to go check it out. It's a little gift box with uh, a beach in it. So that, that was a cute project. Oh, no. No, thanks, Cynthia. <laughs> 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 thanks for watching uh, donna thanks everybody for joining us today this is uh, there's a lot of uh, yeah watermelon lemons i think those are all cute okay. ideas there's a, i guess we will surprise you or these two will surprise you with something awesome as always mm -hmm. a selfie cookie yeah <sighs> hopefully the camera's angled the other way <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thanks everybody for joining us. We'll be back on uh, next Friday. We'll figure out what we're going to do. All right. And Wednesday on and Instagram. Instagram. On Wednesday then. on Instagram. Bye guys. Bye. See you next week. Bye.